So the first thing you need to do is remove a bunch of screws from the, um, the back plate of the motherboard. So um, it's going to be several of those that look like this. <clears throat> and um, once that's those have been removed, this will just come off pretty easily. Uh, there's a couple of these uh, like thermal pads here, uh, but they're not too sticky. It comes off without much of a fight. <clears throat> Put that aside. And uh, there are two screws to remove underneath. Um, little ba baby ones. And um, those ones are um, pretty easy to find because they're both conveniently marked by that little bit of uh, grey washer paint. So there's one there. The other one is down in this corner. Oh, better keep track of my screws. Right. Now, once those are off, you will be able to remove the um, outer housing on the top of the motherboard. No thermal pads here, this comes straight off. But there are all the LED cables down here with quite delicate plugs. So do be very careful pulling it off. Don't yank it. Don't apply much force to those. Those are quite fragile plugs with the tiny little wires down there. If you want to be able to put this completely aside, you could unplug those, but do that very carefully because, again, those are a very delicate kind of plug. Certainly do not pull on any of those little wires. You need to use the little plastic lips on those plugs to uh, try and very carefully prise them up and um, don't slip and pull out a wire. Um, I don't want to bother with those, so I prefer to just um, keep it out of the way. Um, and there is just enough length on those to um, tilt it up and get it out of your way. Um, so what you'll find underneath when you lift it up is not this. Um, I have put this out of the way, but this was what I needed to take off next. This is the actual um, VRM heatsink. Now, where exactly was that positioned? Something like that. Um, oh, and there's just one thing I forgot to mention about um, pulling this um, top plate off is that um, if you have an SSD installed, um, this guy will be um, put on the back of it somewhere. And um, because it's screwed down and then the um, underneath it, the SSD is screwed down into these, that will stop you from taking that plate off. So you need to remove your SSD before you can do this. I would suggest removing everything out of it with an operation like this, out of, off your board, like the RAM and everything, because you don't want to put, accidentally put weight on a dim and crack it or anything like that. And of course, make sure you've covered up your CPU uh, socket so that you don't accidentally bump the pins, because those are extremely easy to bend. Once you've done it, it's a nightmare to try and fix them. Now, um, and you saw me just put this VRM water block back on. Um, to get it off for the first time, um, I had to remove six screws, which look like this. They have just little washers on them, little black screws. Um, and there we go, this focus shot. So um, I'll show you, they were just on the bottom of the board. Um, just a couple on this heat sink here. And then um, just a few scattered around this, right at the ones right on the end of that, on the opposite side. And uh, yeah, this has a couple of uh, th thermal pads on it too. When you um, lift it off, so there's a little bit of stickiness, but again, it's it's more just um, uh, a bonding which is formed by rubber contacting things for a while. It's not glue. It does come off pretty easily. And it's nice that none of these thermal pads are terribly sticky. They haven't been sticking to this Nexus gaming mat or anything when I've been um, putting the motherboard uh, down on it. So I'll just uh, put the phone down for a sec while I look after these cables and flip over the board. Because I want to, as promised, just show you 
um, where those final screws were positioned on the back that I needed to um, undo in order to be able to get that actual VRM block off. And uh, yeah, they were all located roughly in the proximity of these thermal pads. Just a few holes scattered around the place. You can see on the ends of those pads and a couple over here which had the um, that little heat pipe, heat sink unit on it. And now I can go and fill and leak test my entire um, water loop with this and the um, VRM bridge included and be and satisfy myself that I've got no leaks without involving my motherboard and risking it in the process.